What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and I am here with Chile Meta Results. Yes, I've gathered info from 15 events in total from Chile and this is kind of compilation to see what the meta is like over there. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. But first off, we are giving away codes on every Fusion World video. We give away two codes to one lucky winner. All you get to do is be a subscriber, like the video and leave a comment. And then please listen, this is important. At the end of the next Fusion Roll video, we will be announcing the winner for this one. And then if you haven't won, you can win on the next one and so on and so on. We have hundreds of them. So anyways, guys, uh, good luck. And of course, a huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our $2 and up patrons. They buy us coffee. They keep this crazy machine going. And guys... Thanks a lot for your support. If you wish to join the coffee club, link to a patron is in the description below. And I think that's about everything. Roll the video! As with all of our videos, let's start with a breakdown. So we have a bunch of results from Chile. 15 events in total, 120 decks recorded, and 297 players in total. So that's a lot of data. So we're gonna go through like the compilation of it to see what the meta is like over there and we'll show you a couple of deck lists. But before we do this, huge shout out to Camilo from Planet M2 who's done a phenomenal job gathering all of this data, who reached out to me with this info. Thank you so much, this would have been impossible without your help. So huge shout out to you, he does also these breakdown graphics, I'm posting them here and you can find his Instagram link is in the description below. And now let's dive into the data. Let's go! Okay guys, so this is what the metagame looks like. 15 events, I'm pretty sure that all of them were live, if they weren't it doesn't matter. So here's what we have. 30 Gohans in top 16s, 30 Gohans followed by 25 Brolies. So basically just like everywhere else, Gohan and Broly are kicking everyone's ass because green is the best color in the game. But what surprises me a lot is that the third best deck, the first non-green one, is Universe 7 Goku. Yeah, it's not Frieza, it's not Ginyu, it's not Cooler, it's U7 Goku. With the, se with the third highest top 16 performance rate. Then we have Ginyu at 11, Frieza at 11, as you would suspect and, and expect out of yellow. And then we have 10 Goku Blacks. So yeah, 10 Goku Blacks, guys. And the remaining leaders are, because I didn't want to clutter the data too much, the remaining leaders are Android 17 with 4 tops, Cooler with 4 tops, Vegeta with 3 tops, and Trunks with 1. So yeah, um, Red only had one representative, but Blue at least had all of its representatives here. Uh, Broly and Gohan are in the lead as expected, but unlike other regions, U7 Goku takes a large part of the top 16s. That's a very, very cool surprise. Now, let's check out the winners. Now let's check out the winners. So we're looking at the combined winner result from across 15 different events. Five Gohans, and then we have like two Broly's and then two of a lot of other things with one Goku Black and one Cooler. So, seven, brawlers, uh, 7 green decks in total, which makes up 40% of all wins across 15 events, goes to green. But green is followed very, very closely by yellow, which won 33% of events. And then, despite being very represented in the top 16, uh, U7 and Goku actually just won two events. Unfortunately, U7 Goku won just two events and Goku Black is even worse because Goku Black had 10 slots in the top 16 but won only one event. So yeah, as far as winning goes, Green is once again in the lead. Finally, let's take a look at colors. So, the big scary, Green, taking up 49% of all top 16 slots. 49%, almost 50. Then we have yellow, 26 decks, which is 21%. We have red with 21 deck, which is 17%. And then we have blue. Then we have blue. 
So blue is doing the worst. Blue is barely present, but green is... Uh, yeah, this is not a very good chart to look at. Green is really kicking ass. So, uh, yeah. If you were wondering, is green performing best in Chile? Well, yeah. You know, but at least red and yellow are kinda super close to each other. But blue is just... yeah. Anyways, so now that we have taken a look at all of these breakdowns, let's check out a couple of decks. Alright guys, we are here on Deck Planet. You shout out to Deck Planet, amazing deck builder. We've been working with them forever. And guys, here is the first deck. This is the first place Gohan. So, let's take a quick look through it. Running the traditional Gohan package, running two of Androids and four of Trunks. I see some decks dumping Trunks and increasing Androids, but... Okay, this is extra combo power. I don't think that this Trunks is too useful. I'm not a huge fan of it uh, as a board clear. I, often in green you just clear the board with other means. But he's 10k combo. And it's always cool to have. 4 Vegetas, 4 uh, Gokus, 4 of these Gohans. Also, I don't think that they are super useful. Useful enough to run 4 of. Uh, instead of like maybe 4 of Turtles. But they are plus 10k combo. And green suffers in defense early on in the game. So just having an ex having an extra 10k combo is huge. Uh, we have two of the Turlesses. Uh, two Androids. So just a surprise double striker. Three Gohans which heal. One SCR. And then we have the standard package. Four Brawlies, four Gigantic Meteors and four Destructive Strengths. Then we have the first place Goku deck. Okay, so... Here we have, well, this one is very low to the ground. Uh, we have 4 Whis, 4 Tien, 4 Roshis, but not the Roshis which take a life. These ones which draw instead. Uh, that's, inter that's an interesting choice. Uh, then we have uh, 4 of the Krillins. Of course, you need your Self Awakeners. 4 of the Heads. Once again, Self Awakener. Uh, then 3 Gokus, which is such a monster. The moment you get to awaken this thing is such a massive threat. Uh, four Frosts. These ones, well, uh, I also run these in my build and I think that these are very, very good. Like, if you're afraid of running into a Ginyu package or if you're facing Frieza, there's no real reason not to pack four copies. Worst case, it's a 10k combo or it's something to charge. Uh, two Gohans, three of the SCRs, a great, uh, an amazing alternative win condition, a great alternative win con versus green, uh, four of the double strikers, uh, Shin of course, and then also three of the androids, also self awakener and a 10k combo, and two of Gohans, we just clear the board. Uh, I'm not sure how often these actually clear the board, but sometimes they can be very useful. And for Mafubas. Then we have another Gohan. Okay, so this Gohan is a little bit different from the previous one. Um, it runs free androids and free of Trunks Futures. But uh, it also runs two of these. I'm really not a fan of this card. I really hate this card. But currently, in the current meta where green takes up 49% of everything. And green can only KO things. This card is worth consideration. It's definitely worth consideration. Uh, four of the Vegetas, then we have three of these Gohans, five Fat Cells, again only two Turlesses. That's interesting. Uh, two of the Double Strikers, two of the SCR, and then the rest is standard, except he's going very, very hard on these guys. Four copies of the healer. Running up to 52 cards in total. And finally, we have one more U7 Goku. This one, uh, I like this build a lot, actually. So, uh, Whis, Roshi Self-Awakener. Another Roshi that draws only three copies, four copies of TN. So, low to the ground, everything that you want to see. And then four copies of Android 18, which is actually pretty okay. Because if you play into Broly... And you have awakened that's a 2 cost 25k you're still threatening damage 
as opposed to let's say you're running the Vegeta who is then just a 2 cost 20k and can do anything. And then we have uh, of course the super combo, 4 copies of the self awakener, 3 copies of the double strike. Uh, we have a big extra card package here though. Uh, 3 copies of Kamehameha, 3 copies of uh, representatives of universe 7. Uh, then we have one Mafuba, one time skip. Time skip is an amazing card. Time skip can kill the Broly boss monster if you set it up properly. Uh, then we have two of the Gohans which clear the board, uh, two Beerus's, crit 25 crit that can hit bro that can hit Broly and plus gives plus 5k to something. Let's say maybe TN and so now TN can hit Broly too. Uh, hit for self awakening, uh, two of the Krillins also for self awakening, and then we have one Beerus which can serve as a very very strong board wipe. If you play this into yellow, you just kill everything on the field, and finally. Free of the SERs. So yeah, those were the deck lists. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the Chile meta? Are you surprised by these results? Is it what you have been expecting anyway? I think all of us have been expecting green to just dominate. Would you like to see more of these compiled data reports? Let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And the winner! From the last giveaway is Alexander Smith 628, which is kind of fitting when you read the comment. Okay, yeah, man, congratulations. You have won two packs. Uh, reach out to me either on Facebook on the lookout or you have my Discord tag in the description below. And everyone else, you have another chance to win two pack codes. Other than that, guys, uh, share the video, it helps out other people, hit those like and subscribe buttons, help us get to 5k subs when I'm gonna give away a booster box. This has been Damien from The Lookout, and I'll see all of you in the next video.